Five years ago, I was studying Arabic in Morocco, and I was living with a host family. They made me feel as if I was a part of their family. When I moved back to the U.S., I lost contact with them. Several years later, I decided that I was going to go back and find them. I went on Airbnb, and I started looking for places to stay, and I came across Imad. When I got that message, looking for your host family in the middle of, of the Medina, I thought it will be mission impossible. All the Medina is like, even for Moroccans, they get lost sometimes. So many small and narrow roads, but I gave my hand to help. So we set out on this mission in the Medina, and we reached that square that I used to pass by every day on the way to school, and I recognized it immediately. But everything in Medina starts to look the same after a while. I, I could feel that Salista like, lost a little bit of hope. I was very, very nervous that actually if we will find it or not. But then we came across this little side street and kind of knew which way to turn to find that street leading to my former home. And I was like, <laughs> I think this is it. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> our mission becomes possible then. <laughs> so I was a little nervous because I was like, I don't know if I should just pop up in there like this, but I should at least, you know, try and knock on the door. And then I knocked on the door and <laughs> and Mama Fatima answered the door. Mama and Fatima. She, she gave me this massive motherly hug. It was just so awesome and I started crying. It was really an emotional moment. We actually went on this mission to find my host family. And in finding them, I also found your family. Your family also made me feel that same kind of hospitality and welcoming that I felt five years ago with my host family. And um, I'm really, really grateful for that. Uh, thank you so much. Whenever you want to come, you are always welcome.